for Luminar 4 or Luminar 3 or future versions of Luminar, we need to use the LUTs. Now for this, you will need to keep these LUTs somewhere safe and easily accessible on your computer. So we might want to copy the LUT files from the download and say keep them in documents and we'll make a folder called LUTs. Just because every time you want to use these you will need to search for this folder so it's very important that you keep them in a place that you can easily find. So what we do when we're in Luminar and we're in the Edit tab, if it's Luminar 4, if it's Luminar 3, you'll already be in the Edit tab. We go down to the second tab, which is Creative, and then look for Colour Styles and LUT in brackets. Now, first of all, we need to choose the LUT. So we're going to press Choose LUT and go Load Custom LUT File. So we're going to go to that folder that I just created, which is in Documents and LUTs. And in here, now, we can import whatever we fancy. My favourite for this photograph is called California Dreaming. So I'm going to double tap that. And first of all, you'll think, oh, that's not really done much, Emily. That's not really done much. But we just need to make sure that the amount is up to 100%. And then suddenly, here we are, we have all of the LUT in all of its glory. Now, as I've mentioned in the other videos, and I will in this as well, LUTs are not a one-stop shop for, you know, it's not a one-click solution. We often need to go into our light panel and make sure we have the exposure correct and make sure we have the white balance correct. And then from there, we can get some very nice results, as you can see here. So that was the original. And this is what the LUT has done.